Hello. <laughs> I've Fuck. I've decided I want to start posting more because I just need content. And also, I just think I'm spending too... I think I'm spending too much time worrying about the quality of my videos, which is obviously very important. But I think I'm spending too much time kind of brainstorming things when I also just kind of want to show me. Because I'm me and I'm G. I am completely loyal. I used that reference in my last video. I deeply apologise. <laughs> I deeply, deeply apologise. Bath and Body Works candles. They're also the only candles that give off an actual scent. Most candles don't do that. And um, these ones, these ones give a nice vibe for all you vibe hunters out there. I'm just gonna set this down in here. My camera's about to die, so I'm gonna switch to my DSLR because we're high tech in this city. So, I'm back. I'm gonna be curling my hair and chatting to you guys about the fight. <laughs> I'm gonna be playing Devil's Avocados for you guys and talking about the fight because it seems on this channel. <laughs> I like to use the opposite opinion point of view because I normally have the opposite opinion slash point of view to everyone. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to be curling my hair because I'm going to work in an hour and a half. That's the reality of being a YouTuber that makes no money. This isn't my full time job as much as I would love it to be. Thankfully though, I think I've qualified for monetization. I've applied for it, but I'm waiting to hear back from them, which apparently <laughs> can take up to a year. So if anyone wants to sponsor me, that would be phenomenal. And I can not have a part-time job anymore. If anyone from my work is watching this, I love housekeeping. No, I'm kidding. Let's curl my barnet. The fight, UK time, was on Saturday night, well, Sunday morning at four in the morning. So I bought the fight on Sky Box Office and uh, it cost me 9 95 I think it's 9 95 or 10 95 I can't remember. And I set my alarm at four in the morning and I woke up, of course. I turned on my trusty handy dandy not so fucking trusty handy dandy computer and i tried to put the fight on and it would not for the life of me do the stream like it would not do it and i was like <laughs> are you freaking kidding me <laughs> what <laughs> am i a joke to you and I'm ill, so it was just like a bad mixture of everything all at that time of my life at four in the morning. The reason this was annoying to me was because I actually had work at nine. I was watching, trying to watch the fight, and I was like, oh shit, it's... I was like, oh shit, it's not gonna work. So I got the app on my phone and I started watching the undercards on my phone because it said on Google the fight was gonna start around four. It didn't start until like five 40 in the morning so anyway i started watching the undercard on my phone I had no idea the fucking hell any of them are and i was watching it and um i got a little a little text and it was from one in the morning and it was my brother he was next door to me legit legitimately in the room next door and he was like yo mara you're watching the fight and i was like um heck yeah i am but i'm watching it on my phone right now because my computer is deciding to be an absolute dickwad and not load the stream. I texted him back those exact words, of course. I was just thinking, oh, he's probably falling asleep by now. He said that at one in the morning. Um, who's going to be up at four in the morning right now? Except me. I'm the person in England that's awake right now trying to watch this fight. So um, I continued my writing session and then I got a response from him being like, yo, dude, I'm awake. I just bought the fight. It's on my computer. And I was like, you absolute dickwad. I've already bought the fight, but okay, that's fine. So I literally walked five steps to my brother's room and we both sat and watched the fight. I'm not going to request a refund. I'm not that type of person. I feel like I have contributed money to a good cause. Hardly. Anyway, so we were watching the fight um, under cards. We had no clue when the fight actually began. That's when shit got real. Now, my thoughts going into the fight, if I'm being completely honest with you, like the whole of the UK is probably going to hate me. I like JJ. I like his vids. He's a funny guy respect his content, watch it every now and then. But to be honest with you, I actually watch Logan Paul a lot more. Not in the forms of his vlogs because I'm not a nine year old, but I like his podcasts and I've watched them since he began them because he was doing people like Jojo Siwa. And I mean, who <laughs> wouldn't want to listen to Jojo Siwa talk for like seven hours? Definitely me. Yeah, I was kind of going into it, kind of like, you know what, Logan Paul, respect to his content creator. I think this would be quite nice if you want. Mike was therefore rooting for the other team. I was offended. I'm joking. Basically, obviously the fight happened. The outcome was that England is a superior country. I entirely agree. And I kind of came to that consensus throughout my day at work. I was doing a split shift that day as well. So I was in nine till three, then half six till 9 p.m. I was wasted. 
when I got home. Um, which I then proceeded to re-watch the fight again because I felt like it. <laughs> I then um, was having a little reflection on my life and I thought about it and you know what? I think it's a good thing that Logan Paul lost. The reason being is because obviously he's had his controversies over the year, it's plural, <laughs> and for those of you wondering I'm I am frying my hair off right now. The reason it came to a draw last year was frustrating, but now I think about the storyline and I'm thinking, you know what? He had his, his knockdown, he had his fight. That was really good for him because people stopped really concentrating on what he did. And also, you know, in the press conferences, there were quite a lot of digs about that, which honestly, fair enough. I probably would do the same because it's it's good leeway when someone has done shit things. There's a lot you can say. And then going into the second fight, you know what? I just kind of respected the way he came back, the way he went into 2019 with like his podcast and stuff. Like, you know what? Like, I just respect Respected him more as a person and then obviously the outcome happened and I kind of thought about it and I thought you know what there shouldn't be a third fight first of all and JJ started the whole boxing YouTuber boxing thing and I think it's kind of come to its like natural end and I think that's a really good thing because my credit card's getting kind of sick of me paying for these fights and then they're not working I'm just kind of thinking in terms of the come to an end and I think it's a good job JJ gets to keep the belt because he started the whole the whole thing I don't know if Joe Wells started it actually but he lost so you know what find his keepers he's kept the belt three times now so that's fun yeah I just think as well for Logan I feel like because he was saying I'm gonna become a professional fighter after this JJ is just a stepping stone into me becoming pro fair enough I guess but I also thought that's probably not gonna be the best thing for your survival in life because you're probably gonna get killed by freaking McGregor probably gonna get yeeted by him so freaking calling up McGregor and people I was like mate you're gonna get yeeted so I actually think it's a good thing he lost because it didn't boost his ego with wanting to carry on fighting. I don't really think JJ had any intention with carrying on fighting. He's just going to go back doing his thing. That it's probably a better thing for Logan Paul's ego that he lost, in my opinion, because I think he's going to gain more from losing than he would have from winning, in my opinion. I feel like this was the last thing, a last little like, knock in the face he had to have for him to just people to just start being like, you know what, mate, you a decent being. And I can tell you from the UK, that's just my point of view because I know everyone in the UK fucking hates Logan Paul and I honestly don't get it. Hello, that's not adding a little bit here because it just didn't really make any sense. I also get why people don't like him and his brother because of our like cultural differences in countries. They're very over the top and perceived as very annoying. Whereas in England, we're all kind of chill and just like don't really give a shit. All I was saying is just think his podcast kind of shows more of like a real person the person who everyone in England thinks he is is like his internet persona but honestly watch his podcast if you haven't and you'll see a completely different person and his mates are really funny as well so I get it the forest thing but I also don't get it because I'm like you know what at the end of the day I've honestly come to the point in my life at the moment where I'm like everyone has their own shit going on recently especially just like just people in my life and I'm like you know what we're all doing our best we're all out here doing our best I'm here with my Bath and Body Works candle, curling my hair, I'm about to go to work. So yeah, that's kind of where I've come to with this. And do you know what? I'm just loving creating right now. And so if you're like an avid follower to my vids, if you're an avid Chan follower, like you follow my vids, you would have seen my Brandy Marble video and that's doing better than any of my videos I've ever done in my life. People have been commenting like, make more videos like that. I love this concept, blah, blah, blah. Like the businessy concept rather than looking at like ethical sides to issues that we have going on in our lives. And I just think like, I don't really know what content I want to be making, but I also know like I don't really want to make that type of content all the time. It's very like YouTube seo taking advantage of the youtube algorithm kind of content and i don't really know if i want that in my life because it's kind of perfect and you're editing out all of your like sneezes first thing i did this morning was sneeze three times not gonna lie like yeah that kind of content makes me like an old boy and i don't really like that in my life because i'm a freaking klutz 24 7 but that's it for the vid honestly really quick one i just wanted to kind of weigh in on the last couple days it's actually quite funny i thought about this just two minutes ago if you watched my video like how to grow on youtube which i've been doing a lot of freaking recently i'm almost at 1.7k wait wait <laughs> that's mad shit homie i did say in that video like People are going to be making things about this fight. The keyword, in case if I slogan Paul, is going to be massive in these few days. And my video is going to get thrown into a massive pool of people who are using the same keyword. No, scrap that. A massive Atlantic Ocean of people who are using this keyword. And it's probably just going to get buried to the bottom because I'm not Rota Shaw chatting about the fight. I just wanted to like, talk about it because I was like, you know what? I think it's a really, really good thing that he lost. Not because I'm from England because I actually was rooting for Logan Paul. Do you want to talk anymore, man? Wait. <laughs> Don't tell anyone that. I'm gonna get shanked. <laughs> I'll get freaking paint cans thrown at me for saying that, but 
but yeah I just want to say thanks for like the support recently and I'm just feeling really happy with my content at the moment like it's just it's just going well it's just going well you know what at the end of the day they're both nice fellas and we all just need to I just think 2020 shall be a year of everyone just being mates being amigos and I'm here for it so I'm gonna go now because I am gonna finish curling my hair but also thank you for watching my vid if you're new to my chan my jackie chan subscribe subscribe i'm trying to be funny but i'm not i've got a lot of like cool video ideas planned i'm gonna go now cheers